Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Mina or Minia, depending on how you want to say it or pronounce it. So I will just showcase what Minia is going to be doing for you and how to actually go ahead and use it for your own um, business and uh, pretty much just, you know, show you around and show you what you can use it for and how to actually utilize this uh, tool which is Mina. I'm just going to just call it Mina from now on so I don't mix up between Minia and Mina. So before we even uh, start, uh, let's actually just tell you what Mina does for you. So basically Mina is a platform that is going to be uh, helping you find the best product for your business. Simply put, they do have a lot of tools to use like uh, AdSpy, which is going to help uh, or show you the ads from Facebook or uh, Pinterest or TikTok that are actually um, like doing well, which is going to give you an idea of what products are actually trending and this is going to help you or help guide you to find your winning product. Now it does have a lot more tools, which I will be talking about and showing you, uh, but let's actually jump into it but before even we do that and sign up and all of that kind of stuff let's actually talk about the pricing because people would need to first hear if it's you know free or not well simply put it is not for free it is a paid service but it does come with a free trial uh mina here provides you with three uh, different plans so the starter plan premium and business you can see the pricing over here and you can uh, either pay monthly or annual or yearly and it's going to be up to you i i believe yearly does uh have a discount for you but the starter gives you the following 10 000, 10 000 credits here 100 000 and here 150 000 basically credits for the business so it's going to be either starter or premium uh, and then you can just you know c compare the rest uh of the things between the plans yourself, you can just get to, to this page right here, en.mina.com, and compare them yourselves because I, I don't want to waste too much time on the plans. But you can see here, basically, it does not have a free plan. It used to be, uh, or it used to have a free plan uh, in the past, but not anymore. But it does come with a free trial where you will be getting 100 credits. Uh, and to get started, it's very simple. You just go ahead and click on the free trial on the top right. And then you, it will ask you to register where you can just, you know, sign up and uh, you should be good to go. After you sign up, you should find yourself within a page similar to this. It may be different when you're actually watching this, but you should have your dashboard ads, shops, products and more. Here, I'm actually going to talk about the uh, credits and how they work. They do give us a list on how they actually use the credits uh, for the free account, not free account, for the free trial, you'll be getting 100 credits um, and you can use those like so. So if you want to search for a product uh, or, or a shop even or any search uh, of uh, whatever sort of search you search will be doing, it's going to cost 10 details page. So if you want to view uh, even more details, it's going to be 20. Uh, magic search is going to be 10. Uh, and uh, these are going to be services that will cost you the credits. But you can see details, uh, the generate for Shopify is zero and success, success radar is going to be zero. Anyways, let's actually talk about how it works. So for the dashboard, it's, it's not going to have much. Maybe just, you know, the... Uh, top products but what we usually go for is going to be the ads so if you click on ads yeah so uh if we click on ads here it will show us um ads for facebook or pinterest or tiktok we choose uh either one of them it's totally up to you and from here what you will be doing is first thing is uh search for the kind of niche that you will be going for for your products obviously here in the search box and then you will be getting a uh, plenty of filters here to go through and um, help you find the product first is going to be how you want to see uh, or what you want uh, the most important thing that you are looking for is it likes 
Is it the creation date? Is it uh, the love reaction kind of thing from Facebook? What is it that you want? Mostly it's going to be likes because you want to have a, a product that is very relevant and liked. So uh, make sure you have just this down here. And then afterwards, you will go ahead and actually use the filters on the left side here. You've got the date, so if you want to adjust that. Uh, but what usually you go for is going to be the language. If you want a thing for a specific language, you can go uh, for that. Let's just keep it at English. Or actually just keep it like this. Maybe it's a... Not not English products, but it, it's actually good. So we actually we, we can use that. We can translate and do everything else later on. Uh, but uh, this is going to be very important. Uh, on which uh, platform did they use this product on? So was it uh, was it Shopify, WooCommerce, that kind of stuff? So let's just check uh, Spotify and apply, and it's actually going to show us now products that are uh, uploaded to uh, Shopify. So for example, uh, this one right here. By the way, you can just keep going for the rest of the uh, filters and go through them, like the likes, uh, medium, high, low, or you can just set a specific number, minimum and maximum. Uh, and same goes for comments, shares and reactions. And also if you want it to be from a specific country or relevant to a specific country, you can do so right here, where you can just simply select the country that you want. But afterwards, after you just do all of your filters and searches and stuff, uh, after you see the information here, uh, like the likes, comments, and shares, you can see this one is very popular. So we can just click on it and we can see now um, some of the details about this item. We can see uh, this option, which can show us find suppliers, which is going to uh, uh, allow us to find suppliers that are going to be selling the same thing. Uh, from AliExpress or Zendrop. So we can just go ahead and click on that. I don't want to lose my page here, but you can see now from AliExpress, all of those things, which you can just click on uh, one of them and it should give you more information. For some reason, this one does not work. I think it worked for a sec. Anyways, let me just skip this uh, part because it's very simple. You just go ahead and click on them. Uh, maybe give it a sec because I think I saw something uh, right here. But if not, okay, there you go. Now it's actually going to show you all the uh, sellers from AliExpress that are selling the same thing and gives you the ratings uh, and the pricing point. Same goes for Zendrop, by the way. But here you can see uh, other things like the description, which obviously you will need to adjust to your... Um, business ideal description kind of stuff which matches exactly the product uh, and then you get to the status language and that kind of stuff but you can also go ahead and actually see uh, the product link by just opening it up like like so and you can see the pricing which they have listed but you can again uh, obviously wouldn't buy it from here you would go ahead and go for uh, find suppliers from AliExpress and then you click on an image, which will again show you people that are selling the same thing. And you can see the pricing points here are totally different. Uh, and then you can just do the rest from there. Now this is for products and you get also uh, same thing for shops where you can actually track uh, shops and see how they are doing. But uh, most of the things here are going to be behind a Hey, well, like I said, it's a paid service, so you would definitely expect that. But uh, what the free trial is going to allow you to do is search for the um, the ads as well as, uh, you know, filter through them and see the likes, uh, the shares, that kind of stuff. And then even see the product page and the description, which you should just use as a research point for your own business. Uh, they do offer magic search, which uh, is using AI and here they show us a tutorial, but again, you will need to pay for that. So uh, unfortunately, I cannot show you this uh, right now, but the rest is self-explanatory. Now, my personal opinion is that you can actually go ahead and like use this tool, but then 
You can use multiple tools at the same time instead of just paying for it. So you can use this uh, to, to see the ads for that specific thing that we just talked about. Uh, and then maybe you like it. You can just do more research outside of this platform, which is going to help you uh, with the, your products without even having, having to pay for it. Mino or any other tool really. So it's just going to be up to you. Mino does save you a lot of time, uh, but you can still do a lot of those things for free if you want to. It just depends on what you want exactly. So I hope this video kind of showcased Mino for you and just uh, showed you what it is about. Uh, so yeah, that, that's all I have for you for this video. Thanks for watching.